Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored. Matter of fact, let's just start this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have a bunch of action-packed matches tonight at the Meme Federation. We have Donald Trump versus Vasily Kamatsky. Now, this is an extreme rules match because I feel this is the occasion. First match, first night of this show being well broadcasted. We have existing champions in which we will go over them during the match. But for now, we are going to go through the phase of Donald Trump versus Vasily Kamatsky. Now, this is going to be an absolute slobber knocker of a match. Like I said, first televised show, so there will be special effects entrances. Here we go. Our first opponent here. Let's take a look. Who's coming out first? Of course, it is the Pokemon Championship the holder, Donald Trump. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 259 pounds, the World Dragon Fighting Champion, Donald. Big time match on tap when the Donald is an absolute powerhouse in this federation, in this industry. Matter of fact, he doesn't have the Pokemon title just for no reason. He has it because he has outnumbered people. Yes, I said outnumbered him. Because guess what? Donald Trump equals 400 tonight. men in this universe. I believe he will have a long title reigning reign, I suppose. Hey, I guess. I, I To be honest, I'm not used to announcing live. Like I said, this is the first televised live audience show. This is going to be exciting. This is not a title show, by the way. This is just an Extreme Rules match. We wouldn't want a championship. By the way, speaking of champions, we have Vasily Kamatsky. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The All-Star Internet Television Total Northern Action Champion, Vansicely K. Just look at the now we have Vasily. I don't know what the announcer said. His name is Vasily Kamatsky. You know, he is the current the Meme Lord champion. I believe it is the highest tier of championships in this federation. Do not quote me on that, but I think it is true. I know there's a lot of championships in this compared to other shows of ours. But Vasily is definitely up there. We have two powerhouses in the, in the match. In the ring tonight. Two heavyweight characters, two powerful characters, and two absolute lads in the ring. Who's going to win tonight? We shall see. Will the winner predict the future of this federation? Will the winner be the face of the federation? I believe it's too early to say, but these two are definitely on the higher scale if you were to rank all the superstars. Now, Vasily excels in slapping, and Donald Trump excels in powerhouses and overwhelming his opponent, assaulting his opponent, should I say. Already, Donald Trump is at an extreme level with Vasily right now. This is an absolute slobber knocker. Donald Trump is showing his dominance. However, Vasily quickly gets up, and now he's doing a combo move on Donald Trump. I know he's seen stars after that one. Oh, it looks like Donald Trump combo. He absolutely countered Vasily's shooting star off the ropes. Donald Trump is now showing his strength. Vasily is not a light man. I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm saying that more as a compliment towards Trump. And Vasily is down. This seems like a one-sided fight. For me personally, I hope Vasily comes back from this. But Donald Trump is just throwing him around like a doll. This is insanity. There is no way he can reach him from there. He's at the top turnbuckle. He's letting him up. But I don't think... Can he reach this? Nope. 
I thought he was going to do something cocky tonight, but, well, it looks like he just gave up. I don't blame him. I don't want him to break his neck on the first night of the Mean Federation. He's going for the pin for Vasily. Will this be over this quick? And he quick kicks out. Thing is, they didn't have much time to get to three. That was incredibly close, and the match just started. This is not a good start for Vasily. I believe he will have to prove himself tonight if he loses. If he wins, I suppose it speaks for himself, but... Like I said, Trump isn't even phased by the first combo of Vasily. And just toss him around like a toy! Looks like it hurt both of them there. This could be the facility the momentum he needs. Here he goes. Vasily is more of a striking character, whereas Donald Trump is more of a powerhouse. This is a great matchup, considering the two different classes. Vasily is going to the top. Will he do the slap from the skyscraper? He completely, he completely misses. That could have been a huge advantage, but he he messed that up. But he still has the momentum. He just gave him the elbow. Heard the slap of Vasily can stop a train, specifically from GTA, because the trains. Oh, and the stick hit the child in the front that's floating on the chair. They look like Sid from Toy Story. Donald Trump is showing his dominance. Even Vasily can't come back to this. Uh, this I feel like Vasily isn't showing his true power tonight. If he was, I feel like he would just use his one hand and slap Trump. Trump has the weapon. And Vasily... Oh! He only got hit once, but... He got up fast enough somehow. And now he's doing his combo once again. Will this be enough to give him the upper hand? Now he's picking him back up. And he needs him! See, Vasily's a great striker. Once the opponent's off their feet, I believe that's Vasily's advantage. And now Trump is showing his dominance and getting back on his feet. And now Vasily, once again, does not have the upper hand here. Two champions fighting in the ring tonight. I'd like to clarify once again, this is not a championship match. For both of these men are champions in this universe. And it would be a unification belt ceremony. However, on night one, we cannot we cannot do a unification belt. For that is too big of a deal to just have as a throwaway. Vasily is choking Trump with his own feet. He is a monster showing off what he can do. He's letting Trump up. He just did the super slap! Will that be enough? This can be it right here. And he just barely kicked out milliseconds from three. Vasily, all he needed to do was use his open palm. And now Trump is just on the defense. And Vasily's trying to get a submission here, it looks like. Can he do it? Vasily had a quick recovery. Trump was just winning seconds ago, but now Vasily's just destroying him. And he lets him out intentionally, as if he's not done with him. He just did another super slap! This has to be it. Trump cannot take another. Vasily Kamatsky is the winner tonight. I'm going to be honest here. I had no idea Vasily would have won this. Donald Trump had the upper hand in the majority of this match. But as I said, all Vasily needed to do was use his one hand. Once he used his one hand, he pretty much demolished Trump within seconds. Vasily is showing his dominance tonight. He wins the Extreme Rules match, which nothing extreme happened. But... They are probably overwhelmed by the amount of people. Next up, we have two legends. We have Babyface and the Chicken Guy. Now, the Babyface is the most powerful amongst the roster. However, due to his sanity being so low... Right? Low sanity or high sanity? I'm guessing low sanity. He has no sanity whatsoever. He's insane. Due to that, well, he's kind of reckless. However, the Chicken Guy is very intelligent. Sadly, though, his body is not that prepared for a wrestling match. 
I mean, him and Babyface are polar opposites if you look at it. Chicken guy has a claws as a weapon. And here comes one of my now, favorites. who's going to come out first? You know when the bell tombs, the monster rises. Now, Babyface, I feel he can become a championship quite easily. The Considerably easy, considering the very powerful roster we have. Ball, making his way to the ring from the Stone Age. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Babyface. Babyface is an absolute monster. What did they say? He's 275 pounds, 5 feet, 5 inches tall. He is an absolute monster. He's a genetic freak. He does not use substances. He was born this way. He's quite literally a baby. I mean, it's in his name. Anyways, as I was saying, I feel like he can easily have a championship reign, but I feel like he can't even comprehend what a championship belt is. That's his downfall, his intelligence. Babyface is somewhat smart. I mean, smart as people are nowadays, but that's not really proving much. Let's see if he can prove himself in the ring and see he's superior to the far smarter, the chicken guy. Speaking of the chicken guy, one of the best superstars around. And his opponent from Mars, weighing in at 143 pounds, the chosen one. Highly anticipated match. Yes, you heard him correctly. He said the chosen one, and you also heard correctly, he is from Mars. That's how he has his wings, I guess. I, I don't really know how Mars people look, but I guess this is what they look like. Now, this is going to be a great match. Babyface is a high flyer, so is the chicken guy. However, the chicken guy is slightly faster due to his size. Sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned. Now here they are. Looks like Chicken Guy's just dragging him around. As I've said, he's more intelligent, but Babyface, of course, is starting to overpower him. Now he is destroying him, giving world ending punches to this poor human. Can you even call him a human? I don't really know what he is. And the Babyface, oh. These are two evenly matched opponents, it seems. Trump and Vasily. Vasily seem to want to get give Trump a chance, but here they're giving each other equal blows, I suppose you can call it. And Babyface just ignores the command and runs straight into the turnbuckle instead of knocking into it. And he did an absolute toss to the chicken guy. The chicken guy has not as much... There is no way. And Babyface, again... Intelligence. He has too low intelligence to know he's going to try again. Of course, Zyke is too low to realize he literally hasn't changed positions, but he still tried again. And now the chicken guy, the smarter one, knows what to do. Can he make this jump? Oh my. Now that was insanity right there. The chicken guy did a Hurricane Rana uh -oh. from the top turnbuckle. Now, they're, now the chicken guy seems to be showing dominance, but now Babyface is back at it again. Oh my lord. Can this be it for the chicken guy? Babyface didn't go for the pin because he wants him to suffer. And speaking of the pin, is he going to win already? The chicken guy kicked out considerably fast. Now this is insanity. I'd also like to shout out the Japanese referee we have in the ring. Came all the way from Japan just to do this. I'm sure he doesn't have any regrets. I mean, look at the opponents. Two genetic freaks. Not even from the planet Earth. And Babyface hit it this time. 275 pounds landed on this poor skinny man. Now the chicken guy is getting demolished as Babyface. It's like nothing happened. He just did his finisher. I think this is going to be it. And thanks to the ropes, the chicken guy's still in it. Babyface is going back up to the top. Can he make it this time? 
No, he does not make it. Like I said, the intelligence. But he makes up for it by doing it in the middle of the ring somehow. I don't even know how, that's, how gravity works with that move. I don't think scientists can even describe what this baby face and chicken man. And now chicken man's back on top. Oh no, is this going to be it? He's dragging him. Is he giving him... Oh, he's gonna he's going for the pin. That's no surprise he kicked out there. Chicken guy didn't have enough momentum to even attempt. Oh, a kick to the back of the head. Chicken guy's going crazy right now. He's using his legs to his advantage. While Babyface just has to. He's using his legs once again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I suppose. Can he reach this? He connected, but Babyface countered. The chicken guy is putting up a really good fight. Oh, and they're both equally matched and missed the same move. Oh my lord. Look at this movement. The flight on these two men. Now he's on to the top. This might be it for Babyface. Is this going to be it? The chicken guy wins. I... I can't believe that happened. Babyface was showing dominance throughout the entire match, but the chicken guy got... He, he came up victorious. This definitely puts him up higher than where he was before, and Babyface looks kind of weak. The chicken man is an absolute monster, and he defeated an absolute monster tonight. Now... The next match is going to be a special one. It is Talking Tom versus the Ultra War Ender, escorted out by his boss, The Voice. Now you'll learn about these two. I don't think I need to say anything about Talking Tom. I think he speaks for himself. But the Ultra War Ender and The Voice, well, they have a long story. And I feel like they'll establish themselves soon. Now these two men are the only men that actually are linked to both shows that we have here they show up here just for training to be completely honest they are a dominant force to be reckoned with over on the other show which is on mondays so tune into that but for now we're going to show what they can do against our fellow companions on this show tonight the roster is completely different than the one that those two men are on and i believe they have something to show if they lose tonight they leave Depressed. And here we go. Hunter votes for Talking Tom. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want Talking Tom to win. Even though he has the TikTok championship and has so much to show for, I feel like if the Ultra War Ender loses tonight, the following contest there'll be less of a dominant force on the other show. Ball. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 224 pounds, the action champion, Tom. This is the kind of match like I WWE said, there are multiple championship up, holders on this show tonight. To Talking Tom is the current TikTok champion. Of course, Donald Trump is the... Sorry, my mind is wandering right now. Donald Trump is the Pokemon championship. And of course, Vasily Komatsky is the meme championship. There are some tensions amongst the champions, but, well, we'll have to wait until a main event to see what the champions have. For tonight, of course, uh, once again, this is not a title shot match. This is just a normal fight between Talking Tom and two monsters from the other brand. Here's the Ultra War Ender. From Gomez, Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 379 pounds. The Soldier. 
I'm all for tough competition. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no idea what the announcer said. The soldier is not from Mexico. He is not accompanied by Tom. I don't know what the announcer is talking about. This is the Ultra War Ender accompanied by The Voice. Ironically, the Ultra War Ender is an absolute massive person. But he's a striker. He doesn't throw people around much. That's not his... It's not really his specialty, to be completely honest with you. Here we go. He just dominated Tom. He just tossed him down like he was nothing. Now Tom has the upper hand. He is going with the strike. And Ultra Warrior goes for the high kick, but he misses. Talking Tom is now doing a DDT and connects. He is not letting up. Talking Tom has the stamina of a, I don't know, a goat? Because, you know, they climb the mountains, basically. Look, I'm not the one to make analogies here. It's a cat fighting some genetic muscular soldier thing. I don't even know what this is. Outside the ring. Talking Tom, punch him in the face! He DDT's him again! There's a reason Talking Tom is the TikTok championship. But this is the first time both brands have actually fought each other, the superstars. No superstar from the other brand, SSWE, that's the Symbio Studios Wrestling Entertainment. They never came on here and fought one of our guys, but now they're here. If Talking Tom wins, this is really good for this brand. The Meme Federation needs some powerhouses in our roster. People look at us as a joke, but I know they can do more. They don't have championships for no reason. And Ultra War Ender counters it. And now he has the upper hand once again. He just picks him up. No. The voice is proud of his soldier. He just tossed the TikTok chip. And he... I thought he was trying to attack the ref for a second. But and Talking Tom takes advantage of the distraction. The ref is... Just watching the soldier get dragged around. I'm not sure what happened there. Talking Tom is doing everything he can do, but the Ultra War Ender just won't let up. Ultra War Ender lacks intelligence and experience, but what he has is durability. He can take, he can get run over by a train and be perfectly fine. He wouldn't be able to stop the train, but he would get up and walk away from it. The thing with Talking Tom, his hand does not get hurt when he punches his helmet because the helmet is not a real thing to Talking Tom. That's the only way I can describe that. The voice is just walking around. Six. Are they both going to get counted out? If this ends in an even draw, oh, and now they're going back in the ring. And talking Tom, get back in time. He has... He's good. He's good. Oh, he missed. And now the Ultra War Ender is picking him up. Tom is not omnipotent. Matter of fact, we do have omnipotent bosses over at our brands. But it's very rare for them to show up in fights. Tom is more of a... If he doesn't believe in the helmet... It won't hurt him. So, he doesn't believe in the helmet, so he can punch it as much as he wants. That's the logic. I don't know who made that logic, but that's what it is. Once again, is he going to toss him from the top? It's like a punching bag up there. Oh. What is he planning here? What is this move? He just hit his arcade open from the top of the turnbuckle. 
Is he going for the pin? I, I believe he's going to win if he goes for the pin right now. Unless the voice interferes, but he might go for the rope break. You can pin him. I mean, what, what more is there to say? Talking Tom is the TikTok champion for a reason. Quite a bit of cause for celebration after a match like that. There's no reason he's the TikTok championship. He wasn't just assigned it. He proved himself. Does this mean that he could possibly be transferred over? He's being shown as a serious contender. Now for our last match. <laughs> we have Donald Trump versus Talking Ben. Now Donald Trump fought in the first match. But he has the stamina of a god. However, he is also fighting a god, and that is Talking Ben. Now, Talking Ben does not have a belt as of right now. But he has big plans, I believe. Now, this is going to be a normal match. Not a title match, even though Donald Trump does have the... Uh, Still trying to memorize the championships. It's the meme champ. He has the Pokemon championship. That's right. This is not a cursed screen. This is an official matchup between two legends in this brand. There he is. The boss. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 259 pounds. The World Dragon Fighting Champion, Donald. The arena's buzzing. Donald is an absolute monster. He did fight Vasily at the beginning and lost. But Vasily also has a god slap. And once Vasily used it, that was it. But before Vasily used it, Trump was dominating. I believe he has a chance to win tonight. But Talking Ben is also a powerhouse. Two giants fighting each other tonight. Hopefully the ring doesn't collapse. Robot Santa Claus is actually on the roster. He is not making his debut tonight, but he will soon. This is Donald Trump. And that is real hair on the top of his head. What is this classified round change music playing? Also, I am not kidding. And here he is. Look at this beautiful monster. He is a genetic freak. He's and such a genetic freak. Fireworks came out of nowhere. In at 224 pounds. I can't watch this entrance. Now, apparently, this Ben is from New York as well. The so two men from New York are bowing out on the ring to see who's the best New Yorker. That's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. Donald Trump's fixing his hair in the ring as Hawking Ben observes. Almost like he's looking at places to possibly kill Donald Trump around the ring. Even though this is a normal match, Talking Ben isn't scared to be disqualified. He just jumps to the top of the apron like it's nothing. He says it's all about a man of his size is impressive. Showing why everyone backstage should be scared. Everyone backstage should be sh scared, JR. He's dancing to his beautiful music. Staring into the cameras. He's ready. Donald Trump does have the disadvantage of fighting in the first match. As you can see, he has pain in his face. But I think he can do this. In the eyes of this competitor tonight. You know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big Talking Ben trying to get the upper hand. Donald Trump is just carrying him around. Just like this is the gym. He can't even do anything about this. One-handed, this man 
Both of these men, if you can call them men, are absolute monsters. Talking Benz. Oh, the spinning punch by Donald Trump. He learned from his first opponent, Vasily. Nice throwing him out of the ring. Like I said, what if he was looking outside the ring to find places to kill his opponent? It wouldn't be the first time. I don't even know what I'm looking at, JR. I, I can't even comprehend what's happening on my screen. He's doing a handstand, and now he's going to throw him out the ring. He's just standing there, showing his dominance. No. He just drops him like it's nothing. He's not even caring about the ring. He just wants his opponent to feel the worst pain you can. No. He's going up the top. Oh, and he doesn't do it. I don't blame him to be completely honest. That could have been horrible for both men if he did that. He's just carrying him again. He just lift him over like he's nothing. Donald Trump is a heavy man. What did he say? 230 pounds or something? Ben is just relentless. Just punching him, kicking him, throwing him. He can't even catch up. This match doesn't determine how strong Trump is, because he's probably exhausted, but he's putting up a good fight against this powerhouse right here. The two giants in the ring tonight. He's, just, he's going for the pin. Kicks out immediately. Ben has so much fuel left in the tank. He could not lose that easily. Now it's Trump's turn to attack. And he's doing the lift again, showing how strong he is, showing why he is the Pokemon Championship. You know, I heard Donald Trump has never played Pokemon. To be honest, I don't blame him, but that doesn't mean he can't be the Pokemon Championship. He's going to the top, the 200, the giant man elbows him from the top rope. Talking Ben must be struggling to breathe after that one. That might have collapsed a lung. He just did the spinning punch. Donald Trump is so close to victory. Ben is so behind. He just slaps him down like a piece of packaged meat. He's gonna go for the pin. Can he kick out this time? Oh, he's doing something worse. He's tormenting him some more. Oh my lord. The belly flop. That has to be it. He kicks out pretty fast. He still has more left in him. I gotta say, I'm impressed by both men tonight. And Ben has the upper hand once again. He's gaining adrenaline. The crowd is cheering for him. He's on top, quite literally. He's just elbowing him in the head. Look at this monster. He's just, he's just brutally beating his opponent. Look at this. He is he just he's going for the pin. Kicks out immediately. Both of these men are Goliaths. There is no way they can kick out this fan. Oh, he's going for the submission! Will Trump tap out or can he get out of this? Talking Ben may break his arm tonight if he doesn't tap out. He just let Trump go. He wants him to he wants to torture Trump even more. He's going to the top. This man, this dog man, he's letting him up, he's giving him a chance, and he missed it, Donald Trump has the upper hand, oh no, he's throwing a against the ropes, Ben, it's amazing how one move can completely mess up your momentum, now Ben is below Trump. Trump is going for the win. He kicks out immediately. Did you see that? Talking Ben. He will never give up. He's getting stomped on. He missed his third stop. Now Talking Ben speared him.
talking. Ben is the underdog. He's doing the three amigos on Donald Trump. This is very fitting. Oh my. His body just flopped. This has to be it, but Ben! What are you doing, Ben? That's Ben's disadvantage. There's too much confidence in himself, and he could have gone for the win there, but for some reason, he keeps attacking. Trump just wants to go for the win. He's going to go for the pin or jump on him. He just kicked him in the face. No, he's going to... He just deadlifted him. He's doing the... Trump is showing his strength tonight. Vasily Kamatsky's first opponent was way heavier than Talking Ben. Maybe that's why. Oh. He just hit F5. That's it for Donald. If he can kick out of this. He kicked out of the F5. That's one of the first people that kicked out of his finishing move. But Ben is knee to the face. Yeah, not looking good at all. Trump is not letting up. He just caught his leg. This could be the momentum he needs. Even Ben's still durable. He's still... I don't know how he's still fighting back. He's just kneeing him to the kidneys. Donald, poor man. He's just letting him relax. Ben needs to just pin Donald Trump. You're completely right, but for some reason, he has a personal vendetta with Trump. He made him bleed. This is why Tr Ben isn't the champion, because he always fails to pin. He just goes for the kill every single match. He just tossed him around by his head. Now he's going to the top. Can he hit it this time? The elbow to the face. This might be it. If he hits this, this has to be it for Ben. Ben's going to win. Ben's going to win if Trump cannot pull out. That has to be it. It's game over. He reached for the ropes. He failed to pin again. The win is in Ben's hands, but for some reason, he just can't get it. Donald Trump counters. Like I said, Talking Ben does just want to kill his contenders. You're absolutely right. But I don't think he can. I think Donald might pin him before Ben gets the chance to kill Donald Trump. He's just, he's just humiliating Ben by just throwing him around like that. That's it for Ben. There's no way he can kick out of that. Well, Donald Trump put up an exceptional fight. It was just too good for Ben. Donald's the champion for a reason. You could argue Ben should have won, but, well, he didn't. He didn't make the smart move. He didn't pin Trump when he literally had the victory. That was the last match of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the show. Something was supposed to happen in the match, but for some reason it didn't. I guess we'll try again next week. But for now, Battleground will stream the next episode tomorrow. Or whenever I feel like it. I don't really have a plan. But... Last time we saw the memes fight each other, and now we see the realness fight each other. If that makes any sense. We will introduce our next roster tomorrow night. I don't know what else to say. I, I was trying to find a conclusion. It's like an ending you know, sentence, but that's it. I will show you the roster in action tomorrow. And of course we have the... <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even make this match. We have the main event. Joseph JC Cox versus his brother, Alex Boogie Cox. Who will come out on top? We'll have to find out tomorrow night.
I don't really have a time planned once again. It's just, it's kind of just going to happen. But tomorrow we will see the next roster of our brand. They will establish themselves. And then maybe eventually the two brands will cross over. Because there are pay-per-view events that will occur. And because of that, there's always bound to be a crossover. Good night, America. And we hope you enjoyed the Meme Federation.